Hello, hello, and welcome back to another day of Catan. I am Shloopity, and we'll be playing some 1v1 games. Sitting at 1715, hoping to get a whole lot higher, so let's jump into it. Man, this 910 sits goes and kind of leaves us stranded, huh? Gross. They would need sheep and ore on the way back. Sits four three. Eight five ten. Okay. <laughs> Gonna be an uphill battle for this one. Five nine ten into the eight ten. Sits eleven three onto the three to one. And just try to control this side of the board. Aren't they just better at us in every way, though? I guess the one source of wheat... Less ore... I don't know, I, I think it's... <laughs> oh, it's so gross. I don't really see anything else, though. We just need the sits to roll to get onto here. The production is abysmal. <laughs> it's it's horrendous production. We're blockable on the five. Maybe I should have taken the eight five ten. I don't know, man. Four three eleven eight five ten. Yeah, that was probably it. I think this is much too slow. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. Alright, well that's the settle. I'm not really sure how much good it does us right now. And our road building is strong. I think I'd really like to get down onto this uh, sits three, or this four three eleven first. Yeah, we'll dodge these sevens while we can. Maybe if we're lucky, drop an early city. Well, now the sits just is not rolling. I mean, if he rolls the 77s out, there's the city if we don't 7 out now. Alright, so we both managed to drop cities, but his is of substantially better quality than ours. And now we're going to struggle to get the, uh, the settle. I guess I'll just 4 for 1 it. The port makes a little more sense now that we have a city. The coordinated 9s are nice, I will say. The knight is good. Nice. Okay. Things are looking our way. If he steals the wood, it's not too bad. These twelves have been showing up. Four for ones for the brick. That's nasty. Do I even just mono it here? I know it's like a single sits roll. What else am I stealing though? I don't really need anything else of his. And that gives me the road settle. And now our wheat and sheep are just so much stronger. I think I might even hit the nine here now. Yeah, let's get on to this 810. He rolls the 7 on us, but it comes at the cost of a discard. Now we just need the 5. Perfect. And with our final settle, we're, we'll uh, get into this brick port. And then things should hopefully be going pretty well. I 
the three hasn't rolled in a minute. Let's let's smack that. Yeah, I didn't think it would really matter too much, but. And then once we get the settle, the four is also doubled up. Which is nice. Those nines are always a good thing to see. There's the settle pretty fast. The fives have definitely come in and helped us out as much as we've needed them to. And I think as soon as this settle gets uh, dropped there, we just transition as quickly as we can into like pure or wheat sheep. The eights are a great roll from here on out. Yeah, let's just hit the 10. Get a dev. Beautiful knight. Nice! Alright, we had a few of those blocked out. Which was not too great. I would love to get a city. And we're just an 8 away. Yeah, I think it's still the 10, even though it just rolled. We steal the city, which is nice. Yeah, let's hit the 8. I think this is pretty important. It just makes all of our sources of wheat and ore so strong. There we go, we replenish the knight. Uh, yeah, let's... Let's throw a road out here. Either we get the 492, which is really nice, or the 52 is still fine. Alright, he popped a dev, and I don't want him to steal the wheat, so I am going to go ahead and double up our knights here. He takes army, but hopefully just momentarily. We're going to draw a VP at some point, and that'll stop our momentum, but for now, <laughs> things are going pretty well. I mean, he has road and army, so well is... A bit objective here. Alright, yep, there we go. There we go, okay. Another dev. Drop this city on the brick. He rolls the seven, so we can use the knight guilt free to take army. Perfect. Uh, the ten just rolled twice. I'm gonna hit the, uh, hit the eight. And I'm just going to hold with this. There we go. The nines have been amazing this game. Okay, with that, I'm once again going to pop to hopefully maintain army. Yeah, bit of a rough one there. No knights. I mean, good cards, but... It is certainly hard to, uh... Yeah, let's hope we can just steamroll the devs here. Okay, well... <laughs> that's, that's not bad, but yeah, this is making it a lot closer than I'd like it to be. His lack of cities is really starting to catch up with him. Crazy that we've lost army here. He does have four brick. Let's just do this. Come in, take the settle, and prep for road on a wood mono to win. No, he defends road. Okay. Whew! That was close. I was sweating. Oh, <laughs> All right, good game, good game. He did have the other two VPs. Yeah, the nines popped off. I mean, that was certainly to our benefit, it helped, but it was literally his only source of wheat, so if the nines don't pop off, like, 
I, I don't know what happens to his game. Yeah, we got some pretty critical blots there. The sevens were about even. We rolled one additional, but we, we also delayed our settle at the beginning, which kind of let the sevens catch up in the beginning there. All right. Uh, <laughs> crazy. I don't know if, if we had bought a knight in like any of those five or six devs at the end, we, we probably have army. Um, but you know, those other devs, the road builder and the mono, they let us take road for the win. So it all worked out in the end. All right. On to the next one. Whew. Okay, this ore cluster is something. There's the 843, 943, and 6-9-3. He'll struggle to take all of them, right? Or to block us out of all of them? So, like, do we just take the 5-6-11? <laughs> 4 5 10 with 6-9-3... Four five ten four nine three, that does successfully do it, but there's it's such little production. Sorry, there's like a thousand motorcycles outside my window. I don't know if you guys can hear it. Yeah, let's just do this and point towards the wood, because I think it's what we're going to be lacking. If he wants to go this route, while it's not bad, I don't know. I. I think I'd still be okay with something like... Yeah. Does he go 493? He does. Do we just start on the 510? <laughs> or do we go like 692? You know what? I don't hate the 692. We'll build into the 5-2. Uh, the we'll get on some wood. Let's see how it goes. Fours and fives to start are uh, not exactly what I want to see. It, he's basically got a city. If the sitzes <laughs> could kick in, that would be pretty awesome. But if it's just fours and fives all day, we're going to be in a pretty bad spot. There we go. Just one is the city. Going to beef up this for the sheep. We're going to share the uh, the sits, and this way two sits are just another city, so... Another city that puts us over. The dev is always good, right? Like, unless it's a VP, it's always good. The three comes in. We've uh, definitely seen his numbers going. Steals the brick, which isn't really a big deal. The sits block more so. And no settle yet. I'm a little reluctant to use the, the knight here. But theoretically, we should be getting a lot of them. And a sits block is uh, pretty bad right now. Is it just going to be a useless knight? Does he roll the seven before the sits goes? It's looking that way. There we go. Yeah, we refresh the, the ore at a really high rate. It's not bad. Let's just see what rolls here. There we go. Road Builder. All right. That is what we needed. I'd like to see a knight, but that's okay. Yeah, we're just going to hold out here. Steal the brick or something. Okay. The double city before us is uh, pretty sad, not going to lie. But if he rolls a four, we're taking it on his turn. Okay. Oh, still all there? Yeah, we're taking it.
Okay, we do get a knight in there, which is nice. I think it's the sits 4-3. Yeah, this is the secondary wheat source, but this is so much production. And the 5-2 is just not going to cut it. He does steal the one wheat, but we steal it back. The threes are now working for us. Good block on the four. We need more sheep. That's kind of our uh, our big failing right now. Nice, seven out. All right, we get a resign. Not my best game. Uh, I, I think I made that unnecessarily hard on myself. I should have been maybe a, li a little more disruptive with the pits. I don't know. Leaving the sits 511, the issue is that they get it in combination with anything down here, right? Like, that's the big problem. It's not so much about us having it, it's about them not having it. Maybe I could have done something a bit more moderate, like 4-5-11, uh, to guarantee that multiple source of wheat, or... I, I don't know. I liked having the big production. I liked having the coordinated sitses. Obviously, it worked out for us. I think we got a bit lucky, but... Yeah, sometimes you need those, right? Yeah, the the 11 outrolled the 10 for our sheep sources. That's That's pretty frustrating for them. I've had so many games like that where the the 11 outrolls the, the 10 or the 9 or the 5 or whatever it is and feels super bad, but but at the same time, the 4 was the second highest rolled number out of everything, so they they weren't hurting on wheat when it could have been quite rare for them. Despite the, the two knights played, we were robbed more, but they had a, a slow start to 3. I was thinking with these roads as well, just going straight up into the 510 with the 3 to 1 port. Uh, the net's available settle we had and skip in the 5 2. I think that would have been the way. Alright, we've got two wins on the book. That one was a little short though, so let's go for the trifecta. Ooh, I don't mind going first here. 8 4 3 doesn't feel too bad not a lot of sheep and i hmm not a lot of sheep not a lot of brick actually but the wheat ore pairings are not really the best here or sheep wheat there's kind of kind of a weird distribution over here is it really 843 into this that doesn't feel good. We can't really... Man. I don't like it all that much, but I think it's actually 843 point up. Because if we give them either of these spots with the 6-4 or the 8-4 wheat brick, wheat ore, they just take the 843 with it, and it's so strong. There's probably something better on, on this board. I do like the 9510. The 843 into the Sits 3 is also just not bad. I don't know. We have some outs, though. I'll play a little bit sheepless. Go 9510. Maybe. <laughs> I don't know. Either we get some pretty robust road building on the way back, or we get the sheep war. No brick. All right, five sits eleven paired with nine five ten. All right, so we do get the eights four three into the brick port. We win this race. We probably pick up this. If we can snag the five four ten and let it carry us into this nine of ore, I feel pretty good about that as well. He's just got the ten of brick. So his ratios aren't fantastic. The 11 of sheep, which he did not start with. All right, let's run it. This is a race, and if we don't get it, it doesn't matter. Uh, if we don't get it, we still get the brick port. All right, just looking for that three. 
He did pick up an early brick, which is not great. We'll hold again. I don't mind popping the dev either. Knight is good. Again, on the three, just just the one, we can even road road into this nine five ten. That'd be pretty substantial. Yeah, alright. He has the settle. It's a bit unfortunate. I think we have to guard this. Again, on the 3, we still have the sits 411 here. And we get the block off, which is nice. I hate just leaving the single ore in our hand, but we do have the knight. And this gives us secondary wheat, secondary brick. He does steal it. Maybe we get it back here. Doubles up our 4. Really unfortunate that he gets that 7 right then and there to steal the ore, but at least we get a block off. And if it sits here for a minute, that's nice. I would light the city, but we need some defense. He gets a non-knight, that's huge. Give me another 4. Please! Thank you so much. Alright, so that is Settle City. If we use it for two wheat, using it for two wheat doesn't feel amazing, but Settle City does feel amazing. <laughs> so I think I'm going to go ahead and take that. City up the, uh, the 11 brick for the port. We share the wheat on this tile. We get our wood in, in duplicates whenever it rolls anyway, so... And now if we can sneak around to this 9, I'd be pretty happy. Again, just working with the 10 of brick. And he spends all of it there. So... He could have a road builder. And I don't mind keeping the brick in hand as, like, potential porting materials. Nice, 7. Let's try and get one of our own. And here I am going to spend the wood. I'd really like to get onto this 9. Critical 5 blots happening here. Let's see one more. Okay, now with the double knights in hand. I feel pretty good about not buying devs for a bit. Depending on how the course of the game goes, he's still without a city right now. And just focusing on getting this settle. We shouldn't be blocked off of ore. Nice. We do still have the one knight. He showed to not have one. So I'm going to go ahead and drop the city here, rather than the two devs. He is coming after us here. That's pretty good. Oh man, the 7 out. Right when we had it. What do we steal here? Perfect. We did it anyway. That is huge. Okay. Feeling pretty good. The lack of cities are really going to catch up with them right now. Mono? On the ore? Nope. Alright, they've got two VPs then. <laughs> Horribly tragic luck for them. Yeah, let's just go ahead and... Sneak in and control this nine. Whew! All right, three for three. Been a while since we took the triple crown. The fours definitely helped us out. The fours were the the big royal number there for us, but we kept it unblocked with the night control. That went a long way.
Yep. Yeah, we got those early cities down. I mean, he had the five, which is like technically a better source of ore, right? But one of the first things that we did, even by delaying the brick port, was to double up that four. So that, you know, even though they rolled equally, and he was blocked out of a lot of them, on the equal rolls, I'm still getting two ore for his every one. And I think that's pretty important. All right, I think we used our roads well. Uh, the threes showed up enough. Uh, that we were able to build. Um, I think our cities and devs were done in the right order. Pretty good game. Uh, some tricky boards, these games, but I think we placed okay. Uh, maybe not optimally every time, but that was a good set. Definitely had fun with those. Thank you guys so much for watching. As always, I appreciate everybody's feedback in the comments. You guys are keeping my game sharp. Uh, some really, really good feedback. I've had some interesting games in which people like brought up stuff that I hadn't really considered. So keep it up, guys. I love this community. You're always so positive, and it makes my day better when I see your nice comments. So take care, everyone, and I'll catch you in the next one.